Yeah, it's a bit But all of may say it won't be in the future. I had fun. I had fun in the car. I mean, we spice it up all race. came back to the front. Racing with the threes was fun. I mean, the racing is what it is. Like, it's... The runs are just, honestly, they're too big. They're just huge runs. So, like, I still had fun, but it's, it's hard to manage, like, when you're the leader and stuff like that here because you get so separated in the corner for handling and then you just run over everybody kind of straight away. But I had fun. Um, it looked like being second, but honestly, it's a good race. So it's nothing to complain about. Sometimes with speedway races, the perception it looks a little easier to kind of ride around or whatever. Today, though, it looked like you guys were on the edge and you guys were fighting it every single lap and it was about car control and really just hanging on. Oh, it's far from easy. No, it's, yeah. Uh, no, I mean, today you're hanging on. And it got better as the race track cooled off. Everyone got handled a little bit better, but even then you were hanging on. Just the, the racetrack's wearing, your runs are so big, getting in the corner, dirty air is massive, so like you're, you're hanging on. You saw multiple guys spin out by themselves tonight. Um, it just shows you how on the edge they are. So, um, yeah, which is fun though. I mean, that's what you want. That's what makes the racing better if you got guys and you're trying to balance handling and speed. And that's what it's about, not just pulling them to the floor and uh, around this little place. So. Uh, Hopefully that gets even better as the track wears. How different, is, how different is the feeling today compared to what the race was like last week? I know it's a different track, it's still super speedway racing, but it just... It's Gosh, I, I felt like we were mixing up a lot more today than last week, honestly. Like, we didn't really have any fuel saving going on today. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean as much here. Um, they're just mixing up more. You see guys make more moves, and that goes back to the handling side. Of, you know, if you got a good handle in the car, you can kind of mix it up. You can go over the top or the middle or bail the bottom and make up a couple of rows. Like, it's just a pretty fun race. I still prefer the older Atlanta, but uh, this has gotten, gotten pretty fun. You see four, you see four wide for the lead. It's tight here. It was tight. I mean, uh, yeah, this racing is what it is. I mean, it's, it's speedway racing. Am I a fan of it being the first race to playoffs? No. Like another speedway race in there, but tonight was was good and fun. And, uh, but there is still that big terror of getting caught up in the big one. You know, I don't have that. But uh, gosh, we saw it on lap four, three, maybe. So um, there's always that little worry in your mind. What you did on the last lap? I mean, what more? What were you trying to do? And, and what more do you think you can do? Because, like you said, that's a tough spot. I mean, it almost seems like it's a tough spot to be in. Yeah, like I, I didn't think I really did anything different than like the three laps before that when I got the lead. I thought I kind of managed both lanes okay. I didn't think I got that far out front. I thought I kind of laid back in the middle. I was like kind of laying back right in the middle of one and two to kind of get everyone close to where they were close off of two to where I could kind of get some energy from them to where they didn't have too big of a run. Um, yeah, I don't know. They just, both lanes just got massive runs. I mean, I think the laps before, like, the top kind of got a big run, and I could kind of, the 99 was late to me, and I could kind of guess where he was going and slow him out. But there, when you get too late, it's trying to, yeah, I, just, I don't know where to go. I mean, I guess I could have just bailed at the top and made the 99 hit me in the ass, but it all happens so quick. I mean, you can't just grab a handful of wheel. But I, I thought I did all I can. I'll pick it apart tonight and talk to Timmy and see what we do better. You I noticed on the radio you, after the race, Express your frustration immediately, and you look, you're an athlete, I understand that. Are you at this point crushed and just putting on a good face, or is this a you feel good and kind of the way the race went? Um, I mean, I feel great about how the race went. I mean, yeah, just in that moment, you're like, damn, that sucks. You know, like we just lost like three inches, right? But then you realize, hey, it's, it's a good day. It's a fun race for the lead like that. Uh, we get tore up, so. Um, yeah, the competitor in you, like right when you lose, you're like, ah, but I had fun tonight. You've been at so many of though. these photo finishes before, just, you just wait for your crew, your crew chief to call it out, or do you, yeah. do you, do you, do you know? Well, I can't complain much by losing them by a handful of inches. I've won them by two or three feet, so I, you're going to be on both ends of it. Honestly, I've gotten pretty fortunate being on the good side of winning them by, you know, a foot or two, so <laughs> losing uh, here tonight by a little bit, you know, it's, it's still a good run. I'm happy for Daniel. Um, that's cool to see him win one, and it was fun racing with him. He's a good, great guy. So, um, yeah, can't complain too much when they're close like this. And hopefully, the fans enjoyed it. That was a hell of a damn, hell of a damn race. Uh, you touched on Attention, drivers! Are you ready to take your brand to the next level and leave your competition in the dust? Imagine your own custom digital trading cards, showcasing your journey, your victories, 
and your unique style. Fans don't just want to see you on the track, they want to own a piece of your legacy. And with Race Face Digital, they can. It's more than just the checkered flag. It's about creating a digital connection with your fans. Where off-track advantages become on-track victories. Enroll now at racefacedigital.com. This is Harrison Burton, driver of the number 21. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check out one of these two videos beside me. Visit funstretch.com for more racing content.